Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Node and React JS series, we will learn that how we can make API for delete product. In last videos, we created the API for uh, add product and get product, and now we are creating the delete product API. And in next video, just next video, we will integrate this API inside the React JS. All right. So let's uh, start with the points of this video. First of all, we need a route for API. Then we will get the product ID from parameter in API URL and uh, then we will delete the product from database. We will test our API with the postman and this is my Instagram account and please don't forget to subscribe my channel also. Right. So let's get back to the code and create a route. So let me add here app dot delete route and it have two parameters. We know that. So first one will be the URL which is product and uh, as we are just getting the id from the param so we have to add here id param also and in second parameter we know that it have a callback function so let me add here callback function and it have the two parameters first one is request second one is response so let's send a temporary response here response dot send and what we can send here so let's say i am just sending here working for a moment right and now let's test that this is working fine or not so let me open here a new tab in postman select a delete method localhost our node.js port is 500 then product and then id so let's say i am sending here 40 which is a product id and 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 this is actually gonna hang or something else now you can see that we are uh, getting here working result uh, so this is coming from the static response that is fine there is no issue so now i want to just access this id this is 40 id because we are sending it as a parameter inside uh, uh, our uh, you can see that code so how we can access it to check in and verify it what we can do here we can simply send a request dot uh, params right and with that you will find that we are okay why this is getting hang again and again i'm not sure now you can see that we are getting here 40 id so now let's try to send here uh, one actual id so we have a last fifth product which is uh, one plus nine mobile so let's send this id here and if I'm trying to access it, now you can see that we are able to access it inside our uh, response also. So now we have to delete this product. So how we can do it? For that, we have a very simple method. So what we need to do here, let's take a let. And we can see that this is a response. And uh, we are using a product model for uh, product collection. And we can just simply use here delete one method and here in object we can just match our object so what are uh, we are getting from the response we are getting the id and this is match with the underscore id inside the database so simply put here underscore id colon request dot params dot id and with that way we are able to delete the uh, this id and this record from the database and now let's send the request inside our result and one more thing we know that product uh, model will basically return a promise to handle it we will use async and async we can use only inside the uh, we can use here await, await keyword and await keyword can be only used inside the uh, async method So now let's try to delete it and what we will find let's see now you can see that one record is deleted so now let's check it in the database and this is really deleted so let's uh, add some more temporary results uh, temporary products so let me add here one more which is uh, let's say Nokia 1101 1, 1, 0, 0. and let's say this is the $200 price and this is added now so let's check that in database 
we can see that Nokia, Nokia is added here. So let's get the ID of this Nokia product and let's send it inside the delete API as a parameter. And again, this is deleted. We can check close verify inside of a database. This is actually deleted. So what actually happened if I'm trying to delete it again? So because this is already deleted, so it will give the deleted count is zero. zero. That means there is a no new record is deleted whenever we are hitted this, that API. So that's all for this part. If you have any kind of question, any kind of query, you can ask me in the comment box and please don't forget to subscribe my channel, like this video and you can follow me on Instagram. Link is given in the description box. Thank you so much.